I'd like to demonstrate for you how you can get the Power Management Reports to appear in your SQL Reporting Services Report Server website once you've installed the actual beta refresh of Config Manager 07 R3. Here I'm inside my Config Manager console and I'm going to select my reporting node in the left navigation, browse down to my actual reporting node server, right click, select Copy Reports to Reporting Services, and commence the wizard I would typically use to get my reports out of the site database onto my report server. Now because the R3 beta for Config07 doesn't actually place these reports onto your report server automatically, we need to pass to those and copy them in manually. So here you see the first step in the wizard for the data source option, that's my reporting server. I'll select the default credentials supplied at the next tab. And then here on this page is where I normally select the reports I want to copy into my reporting server. Well this is where it's a little different. I'm going to select the alternate option for importing definition files from a signed cab file, and I'm going to path to the location specified here in my window. Now, this is a path that is, that is provided underneath my Configuration Manager installation. There is a Reports folder, a Power Management folder, and below that we have our Microsoft Report Pack, which is a signed cab file of the Config Manager 07 R3 Power Management Reports. I'm going to select Open of that, and you can see once I've chosen that, it's right inside the cab file, and you can see the 12 reports we're going to select. I'll just select Overwrite for this demonstration. I'll then hit Next. Inheriting the rights from parent objects is just a security prop for us. Hitting Next at that point provides me a summary screen of what's going to be performed on the next page, and here we go. The reports are now being copied from that cab file into my SQL reporting services. fairly small piece of activity to complete there, and I'll just hit next once they're all done, and we are finished. Now, to prove that's there, I'll go into my SQL Reporting Services web page, and if I just scroll down to the bottom here, I'll see a power management uh, selection of reports, and you can see here I now have available to me the, diff the 12 different reports uh, that are available in the reporting services that are respective of power management. This is where you can get great information on things like power consumption, kilowatts used, carbon emissions, and even savings month over month. Great, hope that helps.